trespassing cases over this year standard 14, a significant hike from previous years. Transkalahari Police Station Commander Inspector Veronica Namses says. She said because of this, it is vitally urgent to strengthen community engagement and cooperation with the police. Communities around the globe, I was thinking we must have more campaigns. Community policy must involve to educate the people about drugs abuse because that is the main thing causing this stock theft in illegal hunting in commercial farmers. So I'll, my information to the community of Black workers, let their households talk to their children or family that to abstain from unwanted things. You cannot trespass in somebody's farm and go for illegal hunting and wanted to, to go free. The station commander noted that transport is a challenge at present because the station's only car is out of service for repairs. This hinders the process of community visits to farming units in the area. A young upcoming farmer at Blowback, Julius Twop, says farming has become a serious business for many and that it would serve them well to come together and ensure that challenges like stock theft are addressed. It was a very informative meeting. We are looking to forward to work with the other farmers, join hands, uh, stop illegal hunting, stock theft. Commercial farmer Kuos van der Merve welcomed the police invitation and promised that farming communities will rally behind Nampol to keep crime in the area. We must take hands and we must, we must look after each other. We must respect each other. Um, and then as a community we will we'll fight crime. And then we will prevent it. That's our main mission, to prevent crime. The station commander said a neighborhood watch committee would soon be set up following engagements with farming communities and the police. Garia Kavari, NBC News, Transkalahari Constituency.